Hello. Good day to you. Good morning. What's up? And how's it going? Uh, I have a oh, this this big controversial thing about this woman that got hit in the face with the brick. I waited till today because a lot of people still talk about this issue. One of the things before I start off start off with is just that I don't condone. I'm like a person. Um, I don't condone hitting women. You know, no, no, no man should be hitting on a woman. No woman should be hitting on a man. No violent, violent uh, should be happening between a man and a woman. However, this woman stepped, was out of pocket. And let me tell you something. In America, women are very lucky and blessed because there are women. And she, from what I understand, she has a native African background that what she did where her mindset is if she did that with her parents country where they came from she she would got you know would it have been worse and that's that's not the only countries over in Africa even in Latin America in the Middle East it will, in probably some Asian countries and some parts of Europe if a woman acted like this over there it, it wouldn't be too pleasant so America is one of the Western countries that this this can happen, and hey, it's one thing. And, and her own words cause her own demise. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a few commentators about this, and yeah, I, I kind of see their point. And you're gonna see you're gonna see people gonna run, rush to her judgment, but you're gonna see why will happen. But let, I take it's it. never been easier well, help her serve the simple crazy, choice man. of our world with she clean choice energy. Herself. Switching to clean. I want you to understand this, Uncle. I want you to understand, Brother AC. Know what he's talking about? There, and then I'll help her when she was getting hit with the brick. Right? I feel like people need to know the whole story before they start commenting and saying things they don't understand or they don't know. You guys don't even remember who you guys are trying to defend.
but I tell you all the time that attention is more important to them than air, water, even their children. They want attention. So instead of saying that she was rowdy or she was talking disrespectful or she was getting it into somebody that she knew or she possibly didn't know, whatever it was, instead of her saying that she was aggressive with somebody and they got aggressive back with her. And again, I say she shouldn't have been hit with a brick. Nobody is saying that at all. Nobody don't want to see that. Black men don't want to see that. But instead of you saying what it was, you're going to turn it on to black men and say, hey, they didn't do anything. They didn't do anything when you got hit with the brick and they're going to make up this thing about you. You didn't give up your number. That's the reason why it's in her community. They all know her. They probably all got her number. That wasn't the thing. That wasn't the issue. You was running your mouth to somebody, and things happen when you get aggressive in these streets. That's what happened. Hold on. We we gonna go. We, we're not done. Hold on. Let me, let me get to Vaulted, the secret to secure gold savings. Hate to break it to you, but that twenty dollar. With the potential to break some records. Notice the cooler air is focused across parts of the Midwest as a cold front works now, through through the day today. That at least this is from. Hold on, let me get back to more seasonable conditions. This is from the Northeast and Mid Atlantic, but we've got to wait until really. Hold on, this is from. Literally, and in the video, she's saying how women are protectors and women are providers, and how women should have more skin because of those accolades that women do every single day. So somebody, shout out to her. Remember, she said, "Women are protectors. Women are providers." Cleveland hangs out in those low seventies. Just one note: of course, it's warm, but protectors and providers. She said that. There's this Keisha up here caping for her, talking about, you know, uh, you know, why are people bringing up her past. And she's she talking about when she made the video talking about women are protectors and women are providers, right? So if, if you are protectors, then what's the, what are you, what are you beefing for? What was, why are you looking for black men's protection? If you protectors, if you're providers and protectors, you see, it's they think it's supposed to be just one way. No, 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 no. It's the other way. You want to be protectors and providers. You, this is what you want. This is what you claiming you are. When things happen, you deal with it. No, they want black men to be crash dummies. This is what they want. They want to do whatever they want to do. Don't listen to black men. Don't be under their cooperation, right? And don't submit to them. Meanwhile, they still want protection from them. No. That's not happening. Now, hold on. I want to show y'all something else. Let's just go here. Let me just go. Hold on. Hold on. I want to show y'all something. Look at this. Hold on, look at this. Hold on. Look at this right here. Hold on. I want y'all to look at this. Saw that? She hits a brag, right? She hits a brag, and what does she do? Like and then go twerks, and then go twerks. Now the white guy this did that to her. That'd be racial. This is who you protected. Now it's 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 uh. The video with her hitting the breath, you know, that part is, is blacked out, which, is, you know, you can't show that. But she walks up to a Brad and, 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 and assaults him, right? And then goes off and twerk. And then goes 
off and twerk. Right? What do we tell black women all the time? We tell them, listen, stop going out there. Stop thinking you can fight with men. Stop thinking you can actually go toe to toe with men because you're going to get hurt. We tell them this all the time. We tell them being aggressive doesn't work for them in the long run. Right? Now, if she didn't have no problem hitting a brag, you know they're brag worshippers, right? Imagine what she was doing with the black fellow that she had an issue with in her community. With the non-FBA black dude that she had an issue with in her community. Imagine how she was running her mouth off to that dude. Imagine. I know what I'm talking about. I didn't even know all this. But I saw brothers in the comment section in the last video saying, hey, go check this out, go look this out. And, and again, brothers was like, you're absolutely right. And I didn't even know all this, but I know the psychology of Keisha. I know that. This is what they were. And you got all these simps making videos talking about, oh, you know, there needs to be something done. With black men, they're not, they're not, you know, they're, this is not masculine. Oh, really? Really? How about you do some research before you start jumping on board, not knowing what you're talking about? And, and, and I told you about these black male content creators. I told you about them. That kiss up the Keisha for support. That's why this is a no Keisha zone. That's why this is a no key zone. You kidding me? And look at all these keys that's making videos. Look at all these keys making videos. You think they're gonna do you think they're gonna do research, find out who she is, and then do another video saying that they were wrong? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But they're going to demonize black men image just because it gets them views, just because it helps them get a YouTube check. Nothing more, nothing less. Nothing more, nothing less. I knew what I was talking about. I knew what I was talking about. Black men. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this over and over. I'm going to say this over and over. Don't protect nothing but yourself. Nothing but yourself. Even the Keisha's in your family. You don't know what they've done. The Keisha's in your family. You don't know what they've done. They go out there and do something. They go out there, they don't listen to you. You tell them, stop doing this, stop doing that. And they go out there and do it anyway. And just because it's your family member, you go out there and be a crash test dummy and you get yourself hurt. Probably get yourself sent to the upper row. And guess what? You think that's going to be a wake-up call for them? No. No, they're going to make a post about you on Facebook talking about R.I.P. And that's it. They're going to go right back to what they were doing. They're going to go right back to what, you were, what they were doing. This is what happens. Anybody would have stepped up and helped her or, or, or stepped up and, and got in the way, they would have got hit with a brick too. And then guess what? They would have been in the hospital. And when they're in the hospital, when they find out what type of person they is, they're going to feel like fools. Like, wait a minute, I jumped out the window for this person. I jumped out the window for a woman who said that uh, women are protectors and providers. I jumped out the window for a woman that's running around, hitting men in the face and then twerking. I did that? And I'm in the hospital with cranial swelling? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Black men, stay away from these quiches. Stay away. Stay away. What did I say? Stay away from them. They're going to get you hurt. They're going to get you hurt. And don't tell me FBA because it's FBA with FBA quiches doing videos protecting her. FBA quiches and non FBA quiches are the exact same. No difference. The same mentality. 
the ships and pieces. Of course they didn't do that. Of course they didn't do that. They jumped on this ASAP. Oh, a number? Oh, yeah, this this feeds right into my rhetoric. This feeds right into what I be preaching about black men. They jumped on this so fast. They jumped in on it so fast. They got in front of the computer so fast that they had to slow down and put the weave on. They had to slow down. They jumped on it so fast they forgot to put the makeup on, the weave on. That's how fast they jumped on it. You know, they don't forget none of that. Makeup, weave, they don't forget none of that. They jumped on it so fast in front of the computer, bald headed with no makeup. Oh, oh, she didn't want to give up her number. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? First of all, black men are not doing that. Yeah, they may ask for a number. They may ask, hey, what's your number? Back in the days. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying, black men? Yeah. You know how much, you know how she's a liar? When the last time you seen somebody go up to somebody and say, what's your number? I want you to understand this something. That's I want good. you to understand where I'm going. When the last time you saw somebody say, what's your number? We're in a new day and age. Nobody asks for numbers, right? What do they ask for? Instagram. What's your Instagram? Yeah. What's your Twitter? Yeah, Maybe you even say, what's your Facebook? Right. I don't see, when I'm outside, I don't see people asking for phone numbers. No. That's for Instagram. Hey, follow me on Instagram. That's what they do. Follow me on Instagram. Here's my Instagram page. Yeah. That's what they do nowadays. They're not asking for numbers. That's true. That's some old early 2000, 1990s. They're not asking for numbers. No. What was it? There was it was two way page of numbers, and and, and and then it was social media numbers. They're asking for social media information now. Yeah. Who's asking for numbers? Right. Hey, let me get your number. Really? No. No, they like, well, who, what's your handle on Instagram? Mm -hmm. What's your handle on Twitter? Yep. That's what they're doing out there. Right. They're not asking for numbers. This is a lie, man. <laughs> That's true. This is a lie. That's true. This is a lie. You kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> something again black men enough is enough you've done enough you've built communities for them they left them and went and built that rap community that's ran by them they didn't want to be under your, your authority they don't want to be under your, your leadership okay you're not complaining go ahead do you but when things happen to you don't come crawling back looking for help they now, you know, they crawl back. They looking for stepdads. They looking for help for rent and bills. And now you're looking for protection. Yet you don't want to be under the leadership of the men that you complain about. And she, and she, it came out of her own mouth. No, no, her own no. Mouth. We're not doing that. She enough is enough on of that. Shout out to black men. Stay positive. She said this out of her own mouth. Watch. Watch this. She said this. Hey, this is Raul of Please Act Right. Well, if you haven't seen it already, there's a young lady that's saying that a guy hit her in the face with a brick because he asked her for a phone number and she told him no. If you haven't seen it already, let's roll that 30 second clip. I just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just want. And they don't give a Yeah, this man hit me and grabbed a rock and he hit me in my I would have given my number. And all y'all just watch. Why you want to see it? Why you want to see it? 
Now, whenever I see videos like this, before I start feeling sorry for her, I always stop and think to myself, did she do anything outlandish to provoke this guy to hit her? Now, for the record, I don't condone any man putting his hands on or attacking a woman. But it seems to me like there's more to the story than she's telling us. And I have proof there was. She's not the innocent person she's pretending to be. Ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? Oh, really? Well, here's her slapping a white guy. <laughs> For your phone number you say no and he just automatically picks up a brick and says what are you gonna do once again i'm not saying that she should have gotten hit with a brick but she's not telling us the whole story and i told all these men like yo why this man got a brick on my face and he's he's holding a brick and while he's holding this brick threatening to hit you with it you just stood there and all these is watching and nobody does nothing then why didn't you leave and he hits me in my face and they're all just watching. And they let that kid get in the court. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? I'm sorry, but they didn't do anything to you. The guy with the brick was the one that did something to you. And just in case you weren't paying attention, young lady, you stood around and waited to get hit. How did you become all the other men out there's responsibility to protect you, a woman? that clearly doesn't have the common sense to protect herself by simply leaving the area. If this was a man telling the same story, I would say the same thing. Why the hell did you stick around to get hit with a brick? I don't even care about my face because I'm still going to be prettier than all of y'all niggas because I have a pretty heart. But my heart is broken, y'all. My heart is broken because I will stand up for any of y'all. I stand up for everybody. <laughs> I found this video. Happy Pride. I hope every black woman is kissing another black woman. So clearly, she's not into men. And I don't have a problem with that. That's your business. Do you? We are the innate protectors and the providers. We protect societies. We protect communities. So why didn't the women protect you that night? Because there right. are women out there. She right. was talking to one of them on the video. Right. With our intellectual property, with our lived right. experiences, with our breast milk, with our bodies. We're the ones. She said with their intellectual properties, which means literature. Does she mean literature like this? I'm introducing my new book. I bring nothing to the table. Is that the intellectual property that she's talking about? And then she says women are protectors with their breast milk and their bodies. What? The providers, we protect societies, we protect communities with our intellectual property, with our lived experiences, with our breast milk, with our bodies. We're the ones and the two. Bitch, not even the three. Because <laughs> men are not providers and protectors, not innately, because they only protect what they possess. She said it. Men only protect what they possess. And clearly, you are not a possession of any of those men that were out there. So why are you expecting them to protect you? Oh, I see. You don't want a man's protection until you need a man's protection. You see how they want to just flip the switch on and off at their convenience? I don't need you. Why aren't you helping me? We protect everybody. We provide, baby, okay? So I hope you catch a girl tonight, because I hope I do. Ew! Feminism, it was lesbians who were living those lives without worrying about this. Like, they were not worried about this. They were decentering men. So, before there was feminism, there were lesbians. Hey, excuse me, thank you. And there you have it. Clearly, this woman despises black men. She's pushing the agenda for black women to get with other women, not men. Right. Remember, I said she was leaving a whole lot out? Once again, I'm not condoning the guy's action, but here's a young man that said he was out there, and he's describing her personality. I was one of the guys who was there that did not help her when she was getting hit with the brick, right? 
I feel like people need to know the whole story before they start commenting and saying things they don't understand or they don't know. You guys don't even remember who you guys are trying to defend, who you guys are trying to speak up for. This is the same woman that was going around smacking white people in the streets. She's not innocent. She was actually taunting the guy to hit her. Why would I go defend somebody that's actually looking for trouble? Remember what she said. Picked up a brick in front of so many men and was like, what are you going to do? Now I want you to think about this. She's making it sound like he just asked her for a number, she said no, and he picks up a brick and says, what are you going to do? That sounds like something that would be said after she was mouthing off at him. One more time. I don't condone what he did to her. This woman, she is literally a troublemaker. Everybody that knows her in our community knows she's a troublemaker. I'm not going to risk my life over somebody that's actually out there looking for trouble. If you go on social media online, you're going to see some of her antic videos taunting people, looking for a reaction. What she got, what she been looking for, and you guys are giving her the attention that she was actually thinking for. I don't regret not standing up for her. If you look at some of the videos, I was there. I don't regret nothing whatsoever. I don't regret standing up for her. I'm not saying she deserved it. I'm not saying that any man have a right to hit a woman, especially with a brick. Nobody deserved that. But at the end of the day, there's more to the story. She's not as innocent as she tried to portray herself to be. I told you, and I believe her. Here's why I really believe her. I can't find any of her social media pages. I'm pretty sure she took her pages down. So let this sink in. If this woman was a kind, loving type woman, it would show on her social media pages. So she wouldn't have a reason to take her pages down. Notice he said, go look at her social media and you'll see how she acts. That's why she took the pages down. And that's why I believe him. She needed to hide what she's been posting so nobody could see her previous behavior. Remember the young lady who was going in on the passport bros? Then the next day, she came on her social media crying, talking about how black men hate black women. Well, previously, before she made that sob video, she took the passport hate brothers video down so nobody could see it. That's how they gain sympathy. She wants attention. She's an attention seeker woman. She tried to go viral, and you guys have given her what she wanted. Yeah, she get, she, yes, she did get hit by a brick. Yes, I saw it. Yes, I was standing by doing nothing. And if that shit happened again <laughs> in the same circumstances, I will watch. Because she's not an innocent that she portrays herself to me. She was taunting the guy. She was calling him all type of names. She was degrading him to a point where he resulted in picking up a brick and hitting him. Wow. I don't condone that type of behavior. But once again, she's not as innocent as she portrays herself to be. I literally, like, I remember a while back, she's posting videos going around in public, literally smacking old white people in the face. For what? And now you get hit by a brick, and now you want to cry wolf? And I don't care. You, you, you want in trouble, you got trouble. That's why I'm still buying watch. So don't, oh, man, that, that whole situation got me upset. I don't want peace. I want problems, always. Now we have black women all over social media trying to belittle those men out there who didn't help her when she was the one that was causing all the problems. And once again, I believe this guy because he said go to her social media pages and you'll see how she acts and what she does. I'm going to play a little bit of this last video here where a bus driver who just happened to be a white guy is losing it because he's stressed out. Watch this woman add more stress on top of the stress that the man already has. Now let me warn you. This lady is more than likely gonna piss you off too. Stressful job! This is a stressful job! Okay. Alright! Alright! Alright, no! Stop talking back to me! Back there! I'm not talking back to you! Yes, you are! I'm trying to I'm fucking trying to click back down! I'm trying to I'm gonna just click back down! Shit, everybody get fucking what? Everybody wanna fucking walk out! Alright! Stop talking back to me! This is a stressful job! Oh, now let's be clear. He's not yelling at her. He's stressing out and he's blowing off steam. But she keeps intervening by trying to get the last word with him about things that he's saying when he's not even talking to her. Just get off the bus and have a stressful day. I don't want to get back to it. Let me just vent. I'm just venting. I'm seven minutes down. I'm sitting tight. It's not all right. I'm going to get written up for it. You don't do my job. You don't know what you're talking about. But I know you got to get the job or you wouldn't be here. The last thing you want to do is tell somebody they need to chill or calm down when they're going off and they're not even talking to you. 
You just let the person vent. Now, she lucked out. He didn't knock her face off. And instead of her just sitting down like everybody else and being quiet. Just let me vent and don't talk back. Just ignore me. The best thing you can do. You're not ignoring me. You're talking back. I am telling you to calm down. I don't want to calm down. You need to because you are out of control. I'm sick and tired of people criticizing me. You've never done this job before. I know. And you've never done ours. See, here you go. Because I'll sit here all day. Is he going to knock her little ass out now? Leave. You want to keep talking back? I'll sit here all day. Go ahead. You can record me. I don't care. It's too late. He's gonna put that. He's recording on the RTs. I don't care. I don't care if I get fired. I'm sick and tired of people. No. I can't do everything. I can't read your mind. Okay, we can't either. Read your mind. Are you getting off here? No. I'm getting off further down, but I'll break you down. I'll still tell you thank you and have a second time. I have a fucking nervous breakdown. Excuse me. Don't use the F word. Now she's telling him don't use the F word when she just told him he needs to calm the F down. You're the driver. You're supposed to be responsible. Oh my god. Shit, stop, man. This bullshit. Hey, I'm an extra car too, but I'm not cussing. I'm on a different ship. Okay, you better not miss job. I know. I don't care. Tweakers. Drug addicts. Mental cases. People threatening me. I'm here. That's discrimination. You are out of line. How is it discrimination? What are you talking about? I'm calling Petra on your ass. I didn't call Petra. I am. Because that is wrong. I'm telling you to break people that way. They are. And you cannot That's who I deal with. That's reality. You know what? We all deal with people that you're wrong. And now she's going to call somebody and report him instead of just sitting down, shutting up, and let the man blow the steam off because he wasn't talking to her in the first place. Did you notice that nobody else in the bus is trying to calm him down or reason with him? Right. You know why? Because they're all men. Men know that when other men are stressing out, just leave them alone, let them blow off steam. The lady on this bus is lucky that this man is not unhinged. Right. Did you see how he slammed that door? This guy could have grabbed her by her neck and ended her life with his bare hands, all because she can't keep her mouth shut. And this, ladies, is one of the reasons why so many women get hurt by men. Some of you all just don't know when to shut the f up. That's why I believe that the young lady got hit in the face with the brick, like the young man said. She was taunting him. Are these the women that we're supposed to protect? How can we protect a woman who doesn't use the God-given common sense to protect herself by removing herself from danger? Because there's so many women nowadays saying that they don't need a man, men are taking this one stance. Men are only going to protect the women that are in his family and a woman that he's dating. But you best believe, if a woman that he's protecting does not adhere to him when he tells her to stand down, and she puts herself in danger. He might just stand there and watch her get her ass whooped. Don't be the one woman that finds this out the hard way. Hey, somebody had to tell you. And I. Yeah. He's absolutely right. Jeremy Hill show now I think you're gonna love this video right here because I am going to attempt to discredit Ro if you don't know who that is that's the woman who got hit in the head with a brick the other day and a lot of these beta male simps come in here talking and defending her and other little lame women got in here defending her and I'm, I'm gonna show you some receipts everything I said yesterday in the video I made about her I can prove that I was right that she wasn't it wasn't about rejection it was about being disrespected and i'm going to prove that now let me go ahead and play these clips right here using now the educational purposes the educational purposes to show you to know what the hell you talking about when you start commenting on people don't be a ultra crepidarian let's get it going that's what you look like right now you got the pump in here that's what you look like right now walk up and out of don't cry now, Biggie. Play one more time. He's slow. He's slow. He's slow. Pumpkin head beat the everywhere. Pumpkin face. Pumpkin. I want to get that brick gave her the pumpkin head. Now, let's go ahead. Now, I know some of you might think what I said was mean, but when I saw the video, I was, I was in tears because I was laughing. I know you ain't gonna like what I just said, but when you understand, when you watch this, these um clips, I'm gonna show you. You will laugh too, probably. So let's go and find the um, clips to back up everything I just said. One second. I'm trying to make sure I got the right one for you. I think this is the one right here. We finally. 
only hear from one of the guys who was there when the girl got hit by the brick for not giving a number up. I think he's a, he's a Somalia guy who's you know from the same neighborhood or whatever because he said everybody in that community knows that she says that she's a troublemaker and he even said if it happened again he wouldn't even do, he would he would not do nothing again. Now we're about to see the gentleman who was out not this guy he's narrating but you are about to see the guy who was out there with this woman who got hit in the head with a brick he's going to describe her character to you let's get started so check it out tell me what y'all think i was one of the guys who was there that did not help her when she was getting hit with the brick right i feel like people need to know the whole story before they start commenting and saying things they don't understand or they don't know you guys don't even remember who you guys are trying to defend who you guys are trying to speak up for this is the same woman that was going around smacking white people in the streets she's not in it i also have that clip proving that she runs around the neighborhood putting her hands on men trying to go viral the same woman that a lot of y'all are saying you should never put your hands on a woman because she rejected you i get that i agree 100 percent there shouldn't be no physical violence i'm not i don't promote that at all i disagree with anyone who agrees with violence in that matter but if you ask a woman for a number and she might get a little snippy with you I don't like you, whatever. Okay, that's rejection. You walk on, right? But if she starts going off talking about you mother blank this, F that, you ain't this, then it goes beyond the arena of rejection and enters into disrespect. Okay? Men seldom do anything like this or pick up any type of thing to hit a woman with if he simply is just rejected. It has to be disrespect. She is a provocateur. Okay? So a lot of you making these comments ain't nothing more but ultra crepidarians and you need to go ahead and find out what's going on before you make these stupid statements. Now let's go ahead and play this. He's gonna explain it. Trying to defend what you guys are trying to speak up for. This is the same woman that was going around smacking white people in the streets. She's not innocent. She was actually counting the guy to hit her. Why would I fall you? Now, he has a strong accent. What he's trying to say is she was taunting him. She was trying to taunt him, provoke him into hitting her with the brick when he picked it up. You gonna do this? I bet you won't. In his face, talking crap. You keep poking the hornet's nest, you will get stung. Actually taunting the guy to hit her. Why would I go defend somebody that's actually looking for trouble? This woman, she is literally a troublemaker. Anybody that knows her in our community knows she's a troublemaker. I'm not gonna risk my life over somebody that's actually out there looking for trouble. If you go on social media online, you're going to see some of her antic videos, taunting people, looking for a reaction. What she got, what she been looking for, and you guys are giving her the attention that she was actually speaking for. I don't regret not standing up for her. Right. If you look at some of the videos, I was there. I don't regret nothing whatsoever. I don't regret standing up for her. I'm not saying she deserved it. I'm not saying that any men have a right to hit a woman, especially with a brick. Nobody deserved that. By the end of the day, this is more to the story. She's not as innocent as she tried to portray herself to be. Right. She wants attention. She's an attention seeker woman. She tried to go viral, and you guys have given her what she wanted. Yeah, she get, she, yes, she did get hit by a brick. Yes, I saw it. Yes, I was standing by doing nothing. And if that shit happened again in the same circumstances, I will watch. Because she's not as innocent as she portrays herself to be. She was taunting the guy. She was calling him all type of names. She was degrading him to a point where he resolved in picking up a brick and hitting him. Now, did you hear that? Did you hear that? I spoke about that in my last video about the same situation. And some of you weak people send me some weird emails talking about, no, no, you saw it on camera. I'm telling you, I have nearly 46 years of lived life on this planet. And I can tell when I'm dealing with a long-haired heifer who got a, who got the pumpkin head from a brick because she was running her damn mouth. I don't seen and heard people talk about it was just rejection. You shouldn't do that because it was just rejection. You are, again, what is called an ultra-crepidarian, someone who doesn't 
know anything about what they're talking about. Someone who only critiques and make comments about situations that they have no actual information of. An ultra crepidarian just sitting there, standing there, just voicing your opinion about stuff that you know nothing about. You just go into your assumptions. I can tell from lived experience that this woman was a troublemaker. And she's not just a black American, she's um, Somali, from Somalia. That's what she is, you can see it in her features. I found that out later, you know what I mean? I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna discredit her, I'm gonna show you how she acts like a thought and all, all in this video. She's just a big booty thought who runs her mouth. Nothing different than what we see in the modern day women in our black community today. And I'm gonna prove all that in just a second. Let me play this. She was talking to the guy, she was calling him all type of names. Let me interrupt right here. And let me state this for record. Most Somalian women don't act like that. I'm in Columbus, Ohio. I see quite a bit of Somalian women. And from all different clans and tribes, they do not, most of them do not act like this. I don't, even the ones that are born here in America. Let me state that for the record. You were degrading him to a point where he resolved in picking up a breaking head and I don't condone that type of behavior, but once again, Man, what you say? Cause just that you say you need some help, right? 
Oh, what, what did you just say about us? I want to know. Are not providers and protectors. Not what, 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 say it again? Men are not providers and protectors. Not no, 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 honey child. No, you can say that. Maybe I, I'm not, no, no, I'm not getting old. Say it again. Are not providers and protectors. Not innately. Because they only protect what they possess. We wow. protect everybody. We provide. Men only protect what they possess. But she says they protect everybody. This is the same woman crying wolf talking about please help me. You men didn't do nothing when they and the man picked up the brig. Uh. They possess. But we protect everybody. We provide, baby, okay? So I hope you catch a girl tonight because I hope I do. Shh. Ew. Work, baby. Be ready. <laughs> oh, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. I don't give a Yeah. This, this man didn't hit me. Would grab the rock and it hit me in my face and I would have given my number. And all y'all just watch. What you now remember now, we only protect what we possess. Now remember she had you fool telling you that it was just about rejection. But I'm bringing you absolute proof that it went beyond rejection. That it went to the arena of disrespect. And I know I'm still going to get some pushback from some sucker that says, well, it's still not a legitimate reason to do that. Okay, fine, have your opinion. But let me ask you this, sucker. Do you think that would have went that far had she not disrespected that man? <laughs> what do you want? What do y'all do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man. Be a man. Y'all gonna let a man hit me like me. Be a man. Be a man. What have I ever done to you? What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I never did anything in my life to her. Well, this pumpkin head go hard. Remember, I just showed you a video of her just slapping a white man in the face, right? And then twerking and, and then showed you how she disrespected black men and she said she ain't never did nothing wrong in her life. A lot of you ate that up. Anybody. Literally, a man asked me for my number. I said no. And he, he picked up a brick. I think we know why. Yeah, I'm doing, yeah, so that's proof right there. Um, Jeremy, shout out Jeremy Hill's channel. Yeah, um, okay, if that's the case, then why did there were women there and they didn't even say nothing? Where, where, where was these strong alpha women that were stepped up to the plate? Because some there are some women that dress like and look like men or tomboys. What happened to them? Why didn't they step? Why didn't they step up? Since you don't, you don't need since men don't provide protection, and I'm pretty sure, you know, some would go to bed. There's some women that can throw some hands on a man. Trust me, and they some that that it got a mannerism like a dude. You mean the women that you say that it's all about lesbian? Or how come the lesbians didn't step in? Because I'm pretty sure there was some lesbians out there, probably out there. It was probably somebody, even if there was. They had that mouth. But you see, her own mouth became her own destruction. And then turn around. And then, let me say, when she slapped the white dude, what if that white dude would have come back and knocked her across the head? Then it would have been, it looked like, oh, it's racial. Somebody would have said that he was racist. For not, and, and here Lee. What's going on, guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. And, and, and she started it. We have to slap him first. Guys, back. And I don't and he turned around and hit her first. Guys, listen. It would have been racial. Listen. There's a story that I seen the other day and I had to do it. It goes along the lines of all of the other goofy stuff I uh, cover. That a lot of people that have common, that should have common sense, that don't exhibit it, show. And this one is no different. It's just, it's just it's story. Yeah. Her name is Belinda Miller. She's from Augusta, Georgia. Now, this supposedly took place in that area or close to that area. This woman, ladies and gentlemen, ran her car into the side of a Popeye's building restaurant after coming through the drive-thru because they got her order of biscuits wrong. I swear, I swear to God, you got to see it to believe it. I'm going to show you this small video real quick and then we're going to come back and show the unsurmountable damage this juggernaut female caused this company. Take a look. 
Richmond County, Georgia, a woman is facing charges after driving through a Popeye's because her order was missing biscuits. The police report says Belinda Miller drove her car through the entrance, almost hitting an employee. Deputies say Miller left the scene but was later found and taken into custody. Guys, that was the uh, news on this. And it's as stupid as hell. Let's call it what it is. This lady right here got some type of mental disability. She does. Look at that head. I'm just saying. Everybody like what they like, but damn. The way that head look, you, you got more things to worry about than two biscuits, biscuits missing out the box. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they thought they was teasing her because she got two biscuits missing out the box. Who gets mad over bread? I know this type. Species name. Juggernautus Buttermilkus. It works. I bet you when that Popeye's chicken sandwich came out and everybody was making a big thing about it, whoever made that uh, sandwich for her when she had the taste for it for the first time, bro or ma'am, your life was in, on the line and you ain't even know it. If the pickle was missing all hell would have broke loose. Check it out. I'm going to show you the video on Law and Crime TV. It's a two and a half minute video of the damage this woman caused. I don't understand how people do stuff like this and act like it ain't going to be no real consequences. And watch what she did after she hit the thing and drove her car in there. Disgraceful. Check it. Today, we're at a Popeye's in Augusta, Georgia. An alleged incomplete drive through order turned into complete and total destruction. 50-year-old Belinda Miller was charged with first-degree criminal damage to property and aggravated assault. Miller allegedly drove her 2011 black Toyota RAV4 straight through the side of an Augusta Popeyes, all because her drive through order was allegedly missing biscuits. After crashing into the side of the store, Miller supposedly oh, fled the biscuits. scene. Police then arrived and captured the aftermath of the incident. Oh, she made it right there. She made it that far in, took off. I know. Oh, uh, yeah, because she took off going that way. The store's manager told police what made Miller so angry. Oh, so she came in? She came in the first time. I called the police the first time to get the escort out of here because she was disturbed in by him. And she told me that y'all won't have to arrest me. They're going to pull me out of here. I'm going to find it. That's their job, so I'm going to let them do that. Okay. She actually called up here to let us know she was going to run that car into that hospital. You are the manager. Now, when this first occurred about the, the biscuit thing, that's when it started, right? Yes, sir. So she came through the drive through argued about and whining about some biscuits. She came through, they must have got the biscuit out of her bag, and she drove off, and then I guess when she realized it was gone, she called back and told me about the situation. As soon as I had some phone, she was like, oh, I'm okay, I'm sorry. I do apologize for anything, you know. So I come back up and back, I was cold outside. I would place whatever you miss me. Is that the way I said it to you?
You see what the lady said, y'all? She came back up there, acted a fool. They already knew she was going to do it. Came up there, ma'am, I'm so sorry. I'll fix it for you right now. Mistakes happen when you're dealing with fast food, especially when you got a lot of younger people working. Us as older adults don't even think about that sometimes. Mm -hmm. I went to Popeye's two days ago. I said, I want two legs and a wing. I got three breasts. I got home and seen it. I was mad, but I mean, I was still happy to eat. It didn't make me want to take my car and go up there and run into their shit. What the fuck is wrong with people? Sissy, what's wrong with us? This lady the same age as me. She ain't got common sense the first. You take beef to a chicken place. Make it make sense. She go up there. It's Hungry as hell. It's ridiculous. Mean as hell. Trying to fix it? Nah. Call the cops. We don't care. Like she in D block. We come through tearing the block up. We ain't getting locked up. We even going to shoot the cops up. Same thing. Juggernaut don't care. She ran that uh, car into the uh, thing like she was the rhino off Spider-Man. Boom. Told him. I'm going to come up there and drive my truck on my car right through your shit. Then gets out the car and runs away. Yo, she's the rhino off of Spider-Man. Remember the rhino back in the day? Big as hell, just running through stuff. She probably jumped out the car and was like, I told you. Fuck around and found out. Down the street she goes. They ain't come out and stop her. And I'm going to show you how stupid this was. I don't know if that was the kitchen she hit. It could have been patrons sitting in seats with babies. And she just ran at the... It's like when they get mad, they see red... They don't see nothing else. They don't see the consequences of nothing. Them biscuits are pennies on the dollar to make. If you went in there and you know you already had the, the uh, advantage, you were a customer with a complaint, they'd have probably gave you as many biscuits as your big ass could have ate. But you go up in there, you want to prove that you got a dick and you want to flash it and show it. We got to stop this show. We do. Unladylike, unprofessional. Lacking class and accountability. They caught her at her house where she left her car in the side of a damn restaurant. Common sense, damn, this is my only form of transportation. They're going to trace me from the license plate of the car. No, she'll go home, be mad, eat the Popeyes that she ate, because you know she ain't bring that back, y'all, and eat them four or five biscuits that she had and act like she showed somebody to prove a point. We are silly people sometimes. Yeah. We are. Yeah. And you start to see this all over. Different races, people just acting stupid. Right. For right. real. Right. I don't understand. I don't. Indeed. She could have killed kids or just innocent people that were yeah. just in there trying yes. to get the same thing like she did. Yes. Yes. Oh. yes, yeah. All in all, she caused a lot of damage. And then her bond was only $4,000. Hell to the no. You done ruined almost $100,000 worth of stuff. They might have to shut that store down. What if a, 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 a corporate area, what if it's a corporate building next door and people go over there and eat? Now you done messed everybody's day up. A lot of this stuff we do has a ripple effect that affects people outside of the circle mm -hmm. of anger that we have. Right. That's true. That's true. It's a lot of mental illness out here. You got to be batshit crazy to pull some type of crap like that. You know what I'm saying? It's making me want Popeyes now. But I don't want to go through the drive through Because it might be something in the speaker or something. Some type of electric rays that hit my head and trigger the juggernaut trait. You got mad over biscuits. Biscuits. That is crazy, man. I don't... Yeah, I don't... The moral of the story is, guys, you know, if you're single, make sure that you don't get a woman that's, that, that is half caught like these women I just showed you in this video. That just out, out, out of character. And they get, get emotional. And that's what basically what it was. And you see, all she had to do is resolve that. And some people, and I think she from the selling somebody from the hood and you know how some hooded people are they ain't gonna take it and they used to all that raw raw stuff and they take it out to 
some innocent area and, and they don't know how to govern their anger and everything and it's a da damn shame that that's why I don't, I don't that's why I don't, I don't be around hood crazy minded people I don't be around people like that they can't handle their anger or whatever don't, you don't need to be don't embarrass me that's embarrassing that is really truly embarrassing it really is and just the fact he's right that could have injured, injured some children older people could have been in there that's a damn shame oh, on that last video I mean I mean over some biscuits I mean I don't know like I said I don't know something is in Popeye's food that make people go crazy you know and, you know along with that it's something in the air that make people just lose their mind but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video but yeah um, but now you see the other side of the story with that other video uh, those three and it was other people men that them just the, the short version just, it was about two or three men that did live streams on on the very topic and they were saying the same thing there's some simp ass men didn't see the whole story along with some women that did, didn't see the story and, and and everybody agreed it was no one agreed with the woman getting hit with a rock or with a fist but this woman went out there and provoked the men provoke men oh you know what I'm saying then, then turn around call them a bunch of n-words and then say why why you you don't protect me but you sit up there and said you're not into men so why did why did the LGBTQ women come to your aid okay and there were women out there that when she did that they didn't even step in that's saying a whole lot that the, they were women they said they were women out there with the men when the man picked up the brick and and, and, and knocked her side of the head so she embarrassed now she she she's embarrassing i know her family probably tried to talk some sense into or some friends try to talk some sense to her because that don't fly in their community you know if they were over in their home country and did something like that <laughs> oh jesus if like you know she, and she went back home to her country she probably would make it out of some I'm thinking she's from Somalia. She would made up out of here. But no man ain't gonna take that come up in their face, even in Somalia. So, hey, I don't, you know, but hey, but again, she's not it. She's not in on the man. So the moral of the story is, I'm sorry, going, but the moral of the story is, watch what you say. If you tell it, if that's your message to men, then men are gonna protect what is theirs possess what's theirs and that be for their own girlfriend or their own women and their family that that's in the right because that's someone saying if they in the right if they in the right they're protected but when they do something wrong they're gonna check them and but some women they get so e eagerly with and they, and they get out of control with their mouth and that's clearly that's what her actions show but she, her, what I'm saying is, her own actions provoked her to do that. So that, so I, you know, like I said, I agree with the rest of men. No one like to hear see a woman get hit. I, my mother got that time jumped on, you know. So I, you know, I wanted to do something to the man, man to jump on my mother with, you know, but she didn't call for that. My mother ain't ratchet, but. And my sister, you know, someone one time someone jumped. My sister defended herself, but still, you don't want to hear something like that. And black men do care, you know. Especially, and black men do love black women. Let me put that in the message. They do, but when you when you act out of character, and you telling you telling your men you don't need them, then the man you just pushing the men away. That's what you're doing. See women, uh, see the women out there understand. Men hear are hearing what you're saying because you say that men don't listen. Men are hard-headed. Men don't listen. Oh, men are hearing now. Oh, men are hearing. Oh, men are hearing, hearing what you and pay attention to what you say. And just what we we might be listening, and, and, and we just want you run off at the mouth. But we really hearing you, and we were hearing enough of that. After a while, we some. Some must to take and say, okay, that's it. Then you go your way. So to the women that act like her, 
think about what your actions do because it always has some consequences. All right then, be blessed and take care.